so good morning students today our discussion topic is on practical of uh, preparation and evaluation of paracetamol tablet okay so we are going to discuss how to prepare the paracetamol tablet and what are the evaluation tests for the method of preparation we already know that we have two types of method of preparation one is dry inhalation that is direct compression method and another one is wet inhalation so we just prefer the dry inhalation method okay so what is the difference between dry inhalation and wet inhalation so main difference of dry inhalation and wet inhalation is the main factor is the binding okay so in wet inhalation we use the liquid binder and for the dry inhalation we use the dry powder binders so now the for the formulation of paracetamol tablet what is the formula for the preparation of paracetamol tablet here you can see that paracetamol we have taken 500 mg starch 40 mg lactose 150 mg tap 10 mg then magnesium stearate 5 mg so here paracetamol is the active uh, pharmaceutical ingredient that is for api here starch is a binder lactose is a diluent tap is a glidant and magnesium stearate is a lubricating agent so for next start with the direct compression method. to discuss about the formulation and evaluation of paracetamol tablets so uh, i have already discussed how to uh, go for the formulation of paracetamol tablets now uh, i am discuss about the theory part of the this practical so uh, um, for the materials required the apparatus are that is motor pencil beaker sieve number 10 or maybe it may be required 40 then tablet punching machine and hot air oven so chemical required that is paracetamol lactose dry starch magnesium stearate talc and etc etc so theory uh, in theory section we are discussing about the uh, paracetamol and what is tablet okay so paracetamol has a analgesic and antipyretic properties but it has no useful anti inflammatory properties so paracetamol is a readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and paracetamol is categorized under pcs classification class 2 so all of you may be in your uh, when you are suffering from any kind of fever you are using paracetamol so it is an analgesic and antipyretic drug okay next come to the what is tablet so we are taking paracetamol as a tablet formulation so tablet are the are the solid doses form containing one or more drugs with or without excipients okay prepared by compression okay so preparation of tablet there are uh, two types of uh, methods are there first one is wet compression method second one is direct compression method so we are now starting with the direct compression method so tablets it provides greatest thus precision and less content variability inert materials employed in the addition to active ingredients are collectively called as tablet additives so for the preparation of tablet we are not taking only the active uh, ingredients that means paracetamol api it called as a api active pharmaceutical ingredient for the example if we are taking paracetamol 500 uh, 500 mg tablet when we are going for weighting the total amount of paracetamol is not 500 it may be extend up to 650 so why it is 650 because of the excipients okay so it is called as an additives okay so total 500 mg paracetamol is there and another 150 mg is excipients okay <clears throat> so what are the excipients we are using for the preparation of a tablet okay so first one is the diluent or we can call as a filler so diluents are designed to make up required weight for the tablet so example sir lactose inorganic digalcium salts microcrystalline cellulose etc next come with the binding agents so for the preparation of tablet to adhere uh, with each and every 
granules of the tablets we are required binding agents so they are added in a dry or liquid form that obtain cohesive mass for the direct compression okay so for the um, that is we are already talking about the two types of preparation of tablet is there one is dry granulation another one is wet granulation dry granulation or it called as a direct compression method for the direct compression method we are using that means uh, dry binding agents and for a wet granulation method we are using liquid binding agents so examples are cellulose derivatives gelatin solution and glucose syrup tragacan mucilage etc so next come to the disintegrating agents so disintegrating agents are the added to facilitate breakup of the tablet when it connect with the gastrointestinal fluid so we are taking the tablet into our it got, uh, goes to into our stomach okay when it got the suitable media that means gastrointestinal fluid it have to be break down okay if the tablet does not break down then we cannot get the therapeutic effect of the tablet okay so disintegrating agent is the one of the most important agents that to use in the preparation of tablet composition so what is the example of disintegrating agents that is dry starch uh, starch derivative clays cellulose cellulose derivative and alcinics so these are the main examples of disintegrating agents next come to the absorbance so so absorbance is required when formulation contains liquid and volatile oils if we are going for the weight conversion technique for the tablet preparation then absorbance are required okay next anti-frictional agents so what is anti-frictional agents it enhance the flow properties when we are going for tablet compression in the compression machine we have to require uh, we have to see the flow properties of the granules okay to increase the flow property of the granules from the hopper to die we have to use some anti-frictional agents that is examples tile cornstarch silica derivative etc so <clears throat> these are the and also magnesium state also uses a that means lubricants is also called as a lubricants so these are the main ingredients that is preparation for the tablet formulation so the usual methods for formulation include weight granulation and dry granulation and direct compression i have already told you the most widely used and most general method for the tablet preparation is the weight granulation method the active ingredients and the diluents these ingredients are mixed and blend well solution of the binding agent are added to the mixture powder with stirring the powder mass is weighted and the binding solution until the mass has the consistency of the damp snow that means we have to add all the ingredients except that is binders the binder should be in the liquid form okay we have to mix it with the binders properly to get the proper mass if the granulation is overweighted and the granule will be hard it, if not written sufficiently the resulting granules will be too soft breakdown during the lubrication occurs okay if the that means consistency is not proper then it may be so some defects on the preparation of the tablet okay the weight mass is forced through a 80 mesh that is sieve number screen or several mills can be used most materials for the weight milling steps is placed on large trays and placed in drying chambers with a circulating air current or thermostable heat control okay <clears throat> after preparation of the granules we have to maintain the that means in uh, uniform that means size for the uniform size we have to break down the granules okay we have to go for the sealing the granules in proper size and after that we are going for drying okay so <clears throat> uh, so dry it for we are using tray dryers for the drying purpose okay at mix 40 degree to 60 degree celsius okay so these are the main procedure for that means 
uh, weight correlation. The weight again, the weight masses masses force through a six or eight mesh. Okay, screen or seven mill can be used. Most material from the weight milling take place on a large scale and place in drying chambers. I have already told that we are using tray dyes for uh, drying the weight mass. After milling, we are going for drying. After drying the condition, the lubricant or gliden add, uh, is added as a fine powder. Okay, so we are going for next is the blending blending section. Blending means we are using we are adding lubricants on the granules after proper drying okay milling and drying after proper milling and drying we are using lubricants this is called as a blending okay after blending we are going for the compression of the tablet okay so I have uh, shown the uh, tablet compression uh, machine, tablet, tablet compression machine in our university campus. Okay, uh, that is in our laboratory. I have already showed shown you that is that is multi-station tablet compression machine. Through this process, we are going for the tablet preparation or tablet compression. After that preparation, we are going for the tablet evaluation process. The tablet Zenel evaluation is Zenel appearance, hardness, friability, drug content, release, weight variation,